Hey guys, my name is John Hamilton and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fake some bloom using the material nodes in Blender. So this isn't Unreal Bloom, this isn't even Shadow Bloom, this is using, this is doing bloom with material nodes. So it's not the best, but it works and it's cool if you really want a nice and fast bloom that doesn't slow your game down too much. So let's get into it and learn how to do it. Alright, so we're going to start off by making a texture in game. So I'm going to come to File, New, and it's going to be Height 800, Width 500. And in Advanced Options, we want to make sure this is on Transparency. Alright, so we're going to click OK. As you can see, now we have our texture. So I'm going to grab this, this Rectangle Select Tool, and I'm going to select in a region, sorry. Uh, so, that looks like a good region. Alright, so I'm going to grab the full tool, fill tool, and we're going to make sure this is a white colour right here. So it is, so I'm going to click in the middle, and fill it. Then I'm going to grab this, and pull, grab, pull across here, and then click enter to, to, to do it. Alright, so now we want to come to filters, blur. Gaussian blur and 80 by 80 is pretty good so we're going to leave it on that and we're going to click OK so now as you can see we have our bloom texture blur thing so we're going to export this by coming to file and export as and I'm going to be exporting it to a location on my computer and I'm just going to be calling it b.png for bloom.png you can name it whatever you like. So I'm going to export it. And I'm going to replace it. That message probably will not come up for you. Because you shouldn't have anything named it. Well you named it. So I'm going to click export. And it's going to export it. Alright. So we're going to open up Blender. We're going to have a fresh instance of Blender opened up. And we are going to delete the default cube. And going to enable an add-on. So I'm going to come to use file. User preferences. Add-ons and import export and you want to enable import images planes just click that and you should be done so now i can go shift a mesh images as planes then i can go to that place where i have it or you can go to wherever you have it like your desktop or whatever and i'll select it all right so now that we've got this we want to make sure we go into textured mode and make sure we are in glsl mode and while we're here, we might as well change this from uh, Blender Render to Blender Game. And as you can see, it is working. Alright, so, but we've got this kind of yuckiness happening here. So we're going to fix that, is we want to expand this, come to the texture panel where it is. And as you can see, the bees right here, what the texture is called. And we want to come down here to use alpha. Alright, so now that that's enabled, you can kind of see it, but not really. So what we're going to do is we are going to come here, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to, right here, we're going to drag this down by clicking and dragging, as you can see we have two windows, and where this box is, we're going to change this to the node editor. And we're going to move this over, so we have a bit more room. Alright, so we're going to make sure we have this mesh selected and this texture selected and then we're going to click use nodes all right and we're going to delete this node and we're going to go shift a import texture and then one more import geometry so we're going to connect the uv up to the vector and the color up to the color and then we're going to select our um a mesh b and as you can see, it's here. Uh, as you can see, we have that same problem again. And the reason for that is if we were to grab this value right here and plug that into the alpha, as you can see, we have our alpha going. So we want this to be true alpha because I'm pretty sure. Ooh, pretty sure this isn't. Yes, it is. What we want to do is you want to come here to transparency and enable Z transparency. Alright. And we should just be able to leave everything else. It should be fine. And we're going to press P. 
E to play. And as you can see, we have our basic bloom, texture, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so we want this to, when we go far away, to to be visible. But when we go farther, further away, to just fade into the background. To go transparent, basically. So, I'm going to expand this. And we are going to go shift a color mix and I'm gonna plug this in right here so now that we've got that working we want to add in a couple more notes so we want to add in shift a input and camera data and then we want to go shift a um, down here then we want to get to the math node. I'm going to bring this to here. I'm going to connect the view distance up to the top one. And the value up to the back right here. All right. So now, if we were to change this to a black color. And change this to something like 20. And make sure this is transform add to divide. What you will see is when we get further away, it disappears. So what's happening here is, first of all, this is telling the computer how much, how far away our camera is. And what this divide is doing is it is boosting it. Because if you do not have this divide, as you can see, if I delete this, you'd have to zoom in very close to see it. So it's just basically boosting the effect. So if I undo that, as you can see, it is boosting the effect. And what we're doing here is when the texture, because this uses, this fact is it's using black and white texture. So we're adding on it to it black because black is completely transparent and white is not. So when we add black through this, it, it just makes it transparent and you can see the texture disappears. All right. So one last thing we want to do is we're going to move this over and we want to go shift a color invert and we're just going to invert this so that when we're further away it brightens up but when we're close it disappears so let's scale this up to a good size so i think that's good so now that you can see the bloom effect is working what you would need to do now is to rotate it move it up and you can see if you would have some kind of door, you would get the um, effect you were wishing for. Now, moving around in the viewport in the actual game engine works exactly the same. As you can see, and it comes out with a nice bloom effect. Now, you can just overlay this over your doors and windows and you'll get kind of a bloom effect coming out. Now, this isn't perfect for every situation, but it is pretty good. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or ideas for upcoming tutorials, comment them down below. And I also come out with a new tutorial every single Friday. Now, you might be noticing that I haven't lately been coming out quite on the Fridays, and that is because I have been moving house and I don't even know if I'll be able to get this one quite on time. So if it's a little bit late, it's because I've been moving house and I don't have internet right now. So this will be up sometime and sorry about that.